Hopefully, many of you have received your personal stimulus checks of at least $1,400. The problem is, for many of you, that money is too little, too late. Plus, what about all the small businesses, the independent gig workers, the Uber drivers, etc.? Nearly a year ago, we were all promised $10,000 idle grants and up to $2 million in emergency loans for our small businesses. For many, these amounts never came. Yet, DC kept dangling carrots in front of our face, promising additional money for us. When will we finally get the $10,000 IO grant and now the potential of a $5,000 bonus? All this and more in today's video. Hello and welcome to the Stephen Carlson Show. I'm Stephen Carlson. I'm a tech entrepreneur, real estate investor, author, YouTuber, paramedic, and oh, Bonnie just walked into the studio. The only way we are gonna get our $15,000 idle grants is by standing together and making our voices heard. So make sure you comment down below with the hashtag Team Idle and share this video everywhere on social media. Tag your local news stations and politicians demanding that someone in DC finally get off their ass and save our small businesses before we all go out of business. And of course, as my regulars will know, I have a team of outstanding lawyers that I keep chained up in the basement and Clyde, he keeps them from escaping. The only problem with these stinking lawyers is they get a little bit rowdy when I make a video and the only way to calm these lawyers down is to give a quick disclaimer. The opinions in this video are exactly that, their opinions. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a lawyer. This is not legal or financial or tax advice. You get the point. Also, while I have you here, don't forget to check out Weeble. Link down below, deposit $100 and get two free stocks when you open up your account. As I've already told you guys a couple times, a few weeks ago, one of you guys received free Apple stocks. That isn't too bad. Of course, for some of you, you don't really like stock investing. I get that, whatever. Check out the pinned video down below where you can get the equivalent of 40 free lottery tickets every single week without any risk. Okay, all that out of the way, let's get to today's video. As many of you probably have already heard, the American Rescue Plan, recently signed into law by President Biden, has multiple spending programs that, at least in theory, are designed to help small businesses. This is including a new $5,000 bonus to the $10,000 idle grant program. There's been some confusion as how the $5,000 grant works, so why don't we break it down? Unfortunately, once again, the DC Swamp has written an incredibly horrible law that was written in such a way that immediately disqualifies at least 50% of small businesses in the country. In order for you to qualify for this supplemental grant, you must meet the covered entity requirements back from the December stimulus program. Which, if you guys don't exactly remember, that was the one that required you must be located within a small income community. In addition to the low income criteria, you must also qualify as a severely impacted small business. Which, in this case, means that your business has suffered an economic loss of greater than 50% and you must have fewer than 10 employees. Honestly, the last two requirements make perfect sense. This money was designed to help the hardest impacted small businesses. So the condition of 10 or fewer employees and 50% or less of revenue makes perfect sense. The problem is the low income community BS. The only purpose of this is so politicians can go on national news networks and they can claim that we're helping low income communities, not those rich people. Well. That's fine and all to say, but this simple view of the world completely misses one essential aspect. What if the rich guy owns the business located in the poor neighborhood? Does that mean that he gets the grant money even though he is rich? What about a poor family that operates a small business in a rich neighborhood? But they are too poor to be able to live in that neighborhood and they are forced to live in a low income community. Yet because their business is located in the rich neighborhood, they get nothing? Picking and choosing which businesses are eligible and in need of a grant solely on the wealth of their neighbors is insane. But the politicians think that the American people are just too stupid to stop and think about it. And sadly, you know what? They're right. As a nation, we keep voting these bonds <laughs> into office. And it doesn't matter which party we put in office. In the end, they are all power hungry and corrupt. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox. 
And is there any good news for small businesses in this stimulus plan? Well, it doesn't really appear so. I know other YouTubers have been claiming the $5,000 is going to every business. But I've been reading the text of the law, and remember, I'm not a lawyer, but from what I see, it doesn't say that. I know when it was still being negotiated, there were previous drafts of the bill that showed provisions of the $5,000 going to pretty much all small businesses. But those were removed before the law was signed into law. If anyone can find this in the text of the law that's actually been passed, please show me. In the absence of that, it looks like small businesses that are located within low-income communities, they're the only ones going to be eligible for this additional $5,000. If you are one of the lucky few that is technically eligible for this $5,000 bonus, on top of the $10,000 that you are technically eligible for but you probably never got anyways, well, at this moment, you're probably wondering, how do I apply? Well, this is one more of those situations for the SBA where we just kind of have to wait and see. Currently, it looks like the SBA will implement this on an invite basis via emails, similar to how they are doing the main targeted IDLE advanced program. So until they start sending those emails, who the heck knows? We can only just speculate, and I don't want to just make things up to tell it to you. If anybody has any facts on it, let me know. Now, this stimulus program does have some interesting new programs and grants for restaurants. Do any of you guys own restaurants? Would you like me to cover that in greater detail in a full video? Why don't you comment down below and let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure you click like and subscribe. Doing so really helps the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate it, as do Bonnie and Clyde. That Once again, they left the studio. They don't really, they're sick of the SBA screwing over businesses, so they don't even want to hang out in the studio anymore. Anyways, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.